All right, so now that all the bolts have arrived from China that I ordered, which took way too long, uh, I now can start using all these T-slot aluminum extrusion to build up the frame here, which I then can install the plexiglass windows that I also got by now and make this whole front part of the enclosure complete. So we've got everything assembled now. Now I did actually run out of the bolts. Uh, I just did not expect to use quite as many. I ordered like a hundred or something and I ran all out just assembling everything. But I had almost enough and I can just add the last ones uh, in later. Um, now one other thing that I kind of messed up on a little bit is that these two, two doors here don't quite fit in. Uh, they're too wide by one width of an uh, aluminum extrusion and I think what probably happened is that I miscalculated the size of this back acrylic panel here which is no big deal since I made it too big instead of too small that means I can just cut off a two centimeter strip and move it over and then the doors should fit and I just can add some hinges to the doors and they will be fully functional so let's go and do that
So as you can see, the enclosure is now much more complete. Uh, we have the all aluminum frame and we have some nice acrylic windows that are going to be really nice to see everything that's going inside while still being protected. And we also have these doors that I can just close like this. And once I add a handle here, it's going to be even easier. And open like this and it's going to be really convenient to access everything inside. Now I did also figure out where that two centimeters got lost and as you can see I can only open these doors to like this weird angle um, which one of the reasons is the way that the hinges are mounted but that's not the actual main reason and that is that these two pieces are the same length these two doors and that's what makes the most sense intuitively but one of them is only going to the edge of this uh, vertical piece while the other one is going all the way in uh, to nicely interface with the slot in here. And that is what just creates this slight indifference in the length in the end, uh, which means that I can't uh, make them flush. Now I could go in and shorten one of the doors by the two centimeters that I made it too long, but I already cut off uh, the acrylic on the other side, so then I would have two centimeters that are not covered for in the front. So I think for the moment I'm just gonna leave it like this unless I figure something out, since I don't wanna get a new piece of acrylic. That uh, would just be a lot of work and very expensive. But now what's left to do is uh, make a handle here that is easy to open. And here I'm also gonna mount the tablets that I'm gonna uh, be controlling the machine with. So I'm gonna make a mounting mechanism with that and the handle uh, both probably with 3D printing. So let's go do that. All right guys, so you can see that I mounted the tablet. I got a nice handle here to easily open and close the door. Uh, and that basically concludes the enclosure. I think it turned out really, really sleek. Uh, the acrylic together with the nice uh, extrusion just looks very, very fancy. Um, gives this whole thing a much more professional appearance, in my opinion. Having a big touchscreen here is also going to be really nice. Of course, this tablet is not the permanent uh, one. This is just my school tablet, uh, and I obviously can't permanently mount it to my CNC. Uh, but what I'm gonna have in the end is gonna be very similar with a touchscreen like this uh, connected to a very simple computer. And I just put this here uh, temporarily until I have the other solution. I also hooked up all the motors and everything to the electronics cabinet that is sitting right here. But to see that you're gonna have to wait for the next video since that would blow this whole video out of proportions. Uh, but other than that uh, I also fixed these panels in uh, since the slot is uh, 6.2 millimeters wide uh, but the acrylic is only three millimeters thick to save on weight and mainly also on cost uh, i put in these little three printed wedges uh, all around the, the edge to push the acrylic to the front of the slot and not rattle around uh, i might come up with a more elegant solution at some point or i'll just forget about it and leave it how it is uh, it works, but I don't know how it's gonna hold up with the vibration or if these uh, wedges are just gonna fall out. But if they do, it's not that big of a deal. Other than that, uh, I do still need a retention mechanism for this door. Either I can just add like a turning thing up here, which would be a manual lock, but I'd prefer uh, something, maybe like a magnet or something, but I haven't figured out a good way to mount it since when I open up the door, like this point here, it passes where the middle of the door is. So I can't simply uh, insert a magnet uh, in here since I still need to be able to slot this part here, uh, past here. So it's a little bit more uh, complex, but I'll figure something out uh, somehow. But that's it for this video. I wanna give a big thanks to you for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, Check out all the other parts if you haven't already. Make sure you take that uh, notification bell so you don't miss when I upload the next part. Uh, next part is gonna be all about the electronics and uh, everything that goes into that. 
You can also check out my progress on Instagram. I post much more frequent updates there and you can uh, keep up to date uh, on what I'm doing and message me if you have any questions. So thanks for watching and until next time.